What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to part two of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo trapped at non-league clubs here in Football Manager 2020. Yes, we are back with part two today. If you're sat here thinking part two, did, did I miss a memo? You may have done. Please do go check out part one. I'll have it linked at the top of the description because because... Well, today we're going to be continuing on from where we left things off. Uh, you can see here Ronaldo at Hungerford. They were, of course, promoted to the Vanarama National League uh, at the third time of asking, which is a little bit disappointing. Meanwhile, if we just take a look at sunny Kettering Town, they're, they're having a party over in Kettering. Messi leading the club to their third promotion in a row with him leading the way, of course, in League Two. They won the playoffs. And uh, yeah, well, it's going to be interesting to see how they adapt. For this first year, we're going to go forward just one season to see how they get on with both teams being newly promoted. But given the fact we've got about another 20 or so years to get through, we're going to go forward a couple of seasons at a time in today's episode just to speed things up. I don't want this to turn into a 10-part series. I want to try and keep it a little bit shorter than that. But at the same time, there's lots of details and lots of stuff to observe that I'm keen not to miss out on. But anyway, let's go forward. We'll go to 2023 Kettering in League One, Hungerford seeking promotion to the Football League, and uh, yeah, well, let's see how they get on, shall we? So, folks, the year is 2023. We're sat here on Hungerford Town's page, and I can already tell that something quite heartbreaking has happened here. Their media prediction was fifth in the Vanarama National League. Of course, the Vanarama National League, only one team gets automatic promotion, and then there is the playoffs, and well... They finished third and they got a decent amount of points as well. But unfortunately for them, they've lost in the playoffs. If we just look here at stages, they've lost to Notts County, if I'm not mistaken, on penalties. Oh, we're going for all the finals here. We don't want to go for all the finals. We want the semi-final of heartbreak. Yes, losing on penalties. You can see here, did, did Ronaldo take a penalty? He didn't. In fact, he wasn't even playing. Or was he playing? No, he got sent off. Oh dear, that's bad. I mean, you could say he single-handedly lost them the game. It does help if I look at the hunger for town players, doesn't it, when I'm looking for Ronaldo. But yes, he got sent off in perhaps the biggest game of the year. He played every single match of the season up until that point. He got 30 goals, 21 assists, an 8.05 average rating. I mean, I assume he was leading the way in the Vanarama National League. Um, you can see him, most assists, most goals, highest player of the matches. He did so, so much for the team and then... On the big stage when it really mattered, he just lost his call against Notts County. And they've ended up doing very, very well. Let's have a look at Kettering, shall we? We've got to go up a couple of divisions into League One. It was their first season in the division. I'm not anticipating them to have got promoted. But, oh my word, they made it to the playoffs as well. And in the end, it was Scunthorpe who went up. Let's have a look at things. I saw Messi there as a top goal scorer. And if we look at their schedule... They lost in the semi-finals to the team that was eventually promoted, Scunthorpe, over two legs. You can see they drew the first leg 1-1. One, one. Uh, I'm assuming Messi played for them, although I don't see him here. Was he injured? He might well have been injured. And then in the second leg, away from home, they lost uh, to Scunthorpe. And again, it looks like he was not there. Messi, where, where are you? Where, where art thou? Let's have a look. I'm turning into Shakespeare here. Kettering. Messi played only 31 games as he had a serious injury. He's had a hip injury and uh, it was a major injury out for three months with that, which makes the fact that he ended up top goal scorer in the league even more impressive in a lot of ways. But yes, that is a serious injury. Of course, that's always a risk with this whole simulates. The fact that one player might get a really significant injury that the other player didn't suffer. That looks to have been the case here with Messi. Let's have a look at Kettering Town. Paul Cox, by the way, still their manager, still loving life. He got injured about three months ago. And if we look at their past league positions, interestingly enough, it doesn't look like they've entirely relied on him from the perspective of they didn't kind of drop out of the automatic promotion spots with him not being fit. In fact, for most of the year, they've just been battling it out for a playoff spot. But um, yeah, he did very, very well for them. I'm curious, who picked up the slack for Kettering in Messi's absence. It was Aaron Drinnen, who got eight goals. He's not a bad player. He's he's leaving the club at the end of the year, though, bless him. He's had enough. They also had Cheeseman Slin. That is not a real name. That is not... I refuse to believe that that is a real name. I want to... I've not set a nickname, to be clear. Che that's a, one of the greatest names I've ever seen. Cheeseman. Uh, he got five goals in 16 games. He did okay for them. 
But yeah, it was the messy show again. 18 player of the matches in 31 games. He was doing very, very well. You have to wonder, had he not got injured, would he have done even better? You can see he won player of the year in League One. He broke the highest average ratings in a season with 8.06. Um, I guess that's in his career at the club because he's he's definitely done better than that before, which is a little bit weird. But either way, apparently he broke the record that he'd already set, which he didn't, but we'll just allow it. He did get Supporters Player of the Year. If we look at... Um, can we look at club awards anywhere? That's a great question. I'm not sure if we can. You can have a look at the overall best 11 here. Um where are you, Lionel? So 132 goals in 185 games. That's pretty good. Let's have a look at, quick look at Ronaldo's as well. Let's see how he's getting on so far in his career at Hungerford before we go forward. And uh, we'll see how they're getting on. Best 11 overall, 194 games, 141 goals. So both teams missing out on promotion this year via the playoffs. Of course, kind of a golfing class in terms of where they sit. Hungerford really need to be getting promoted in the next couple of years, you'd imagine. I say that like Ronaldo's going to leave if they don't. He isn't. He's stuck here forever. Um, but at the same time, I'm sure they have loftier ambitions than languishing around the Vanarama National League. So anyway, guys, this time I'm going to go forward two years just because it's going to take a long time otherwise. So we'll go forward to 2025. That feels like a dystopian future. It'll also mark 20 years before the players are set to leave their respective clubs, which is absolutely mental when you think about it. They'll be 24 years old, entering their prime. It's going to be interesting. A possibility they could be in the same league. Let's go forward and find out. Okay guys, so we are in the future and I'm excited to say Hungerford are a football league team. They've played in the Skybet League 2 this season just gone, but these stats are really average by Ronaldo. Let's have a look at where they finished, shall we? They finished 6th, which means they were in the playoffs and they lost on penalties. What is it with these teams losing on penalties? You can see Ronaldo had the highest average rating, but he didn't get the most goals or assists. Uh, where did they finish in the league? They finished sixth. They were not far off the automatic promotion spot either. Let's just have a quick look. So last season, they did win the league. So they, they, they won the league. Let's have a look at Ronaldo. He got 31 goals, 24... Four, I've said 24 again. That happened before. 24 player of the matches. I'm getting carried away, clearly. Um, and then this year, just gone. He only played 34 games, which isn't actually that many in the year. Um, looking at it, he has had a few injuries for a few months this season just gone. It looks like he may have even missed the start of the season. But even with that, that's a pretty disappointing season, all things considering. Um, yeah, that, I'm surprised at how underwhelming he's done in the last couple of years. We can just have a quick look at his milestones here. He did win plenty of awards over the year. Don't get me wrong. He's, he's had a very, very good year. If we just look, he was their top, joint top goal scorer alongside Liam Brown, who apparently... Is just an absolute god. Um, the, the most assists actually was this guy, Tom Halcroft, who is on loan from Reading. It seems like Hungerford quite like their loans. You can see he did get most player of the matches and, well, that they lost on penalties. Let's look at this game. Did he get sent off in the final? He didn't. Good, good news, everyone. He didn't get sent off. Although, it looks like he was injured for this game. I did notice he had a slightly more minor injury towards the end of the year. The fact that Gillingham had a man sent off after four minutes has got to be heartbreaking for the Hungerford faithful. The fact they couldn't convert that into a win. Twice they were pegged back and then, well, in the shootout, they just, without Ronaldo's guidance, they were struggling. But they've got promoted. Ian is still loving life. He's still their manager. Let's find Kettering Town, shall we, and Lionel Messi, where they are in the championship. Oh, I love it. Right, so they've gone up. I'm, I'm, why do I get so excited by this? I don't know. It's just really interesting, I find. Let's have a look then. So they got promoted, actually, last year, Kettering. Messi got 32 goals and 17 assists. 25 player of the matches, but in the championship... For the first time ever, he's got less than 19 goals in a season. And I was going to say only 16 player of the matches. That's still quite a lot of player of the matches. Let's let's have a quick look. So Kettering, last year they finished second. So they got an automatic promotion spot. They have had a managerial change. Paul Cox has left them. Did he, did he go somewhere and get sacked? I'm curious. He went to Stoke. And at Stoke, he lasted five months. So maybe he was leaning on Messi. And, well, they've got a new man in charge. It is Mr. Bruno. We're going to go with that because I'll butcher his last name. 
And uh, looking at it, he's playing a 4-2... Well, 4-1-2-3-1. Uh, what am I saying? I can't English. I like to call this a 4-3-3, but I know Football Manager doesn't like to call it a 4-3-3. Either way, he's been playing out on the right. Highest average rating, highest goal scorer, top assists. The golden question, where did they finish in the league? They finished 21st and avoided relegation by one point. What happened on the last day of the season? Was there any last day of the season drama for Kettering Town? Let's have a look, shall we? They won 2-0 against Hull. By the way, Salford are doing very, very well here. But they won 2-0 and Ipswich drew. Oh, my word. So on the last day of the season, they stayed up. Look at that. They were actually doing okay for a lot of the year. Then... Well, around the halfway mark, it all went terribly, terribly wrong. They slipped into the relegation zone. And then right at the end, right at the death, they have saved themselves. Who, who scored in that last game? We should probably have a look at that, shouldn't we? They beat Hull 2-0. Messi got one. He got a 7.7 .7 rating. Their goalkeeper, by the way, got man of the match. He's an extraordinary goalkeeper. Wow. Lee Nichols is top, top quality for this kind of level. And, uh, well, he single-handedly carried them along with a little bit of help from Messi to ensure that they stayed up. I mean, fair play. You can see here, Messi did get the highest average rating, but he's nowhere near the top goals or top assists. I mean, is this the limit of where Messi can take this team? I guess that's now the question that has to be asked, because over the past few years... Um, you know, when we've done previous experiments like Mbappé in the, in the non-league, that he managed to take a team to the championship, but they kind of just got stuck there. be interesting to see if Messi can take them that one step further, because he is a more creative kind of player. Anyway, medium prediction was 20 seconds, so they were predicted to go down. If we just look at their landmarks here, um, looks like they have built a new stadium, which is absolutely exceptional news. So they, they have their own stadium. They've been upgrading their facilities as well. They're in it for the long haul of Kettering. There's still two leagues ahead, of course, of Hungerford. If we look at Hungerford's landmarks, have you been doing any investment? I mean, they've turned professional and they've increased the capacity of their stadiums. So there is definitely progress being made. And, uh, well, I love the fact that st their, their stadium is called the Bull Pit Lane. That is a good stadium name. I, I, I rate it. Anyway, you can see here, Ronaldo, I guess, has been playing largely as a left midfielder again, and indeed he has. Let's hope he starts playing as a striker. In some ways, I want Hungerford to sack Herring, or maybe Her Herring to get poached, just to see if Ronaldo ends up playing as a striker, because I feel like he can have more of an impact there. We'll go forward another two years, see if that's the case. Hungerford, Ian Herring, I'm sorry, I don't mean any offence, but I kind of want someone new in charge to help Ronaldo take you to the next level. And, uh, well, let's see how they get on. Messi and Ronaldo, they're going to be 26, entering their prime. This is going to get tasty. They're still in the championship. Oh, I'm so happy for Kettering. Yes, they are. Well, they could have got relegated and got promoted again, I guess. No, no, that couldn't have happened. I'm talking rubbish. They've got 18 goals and 9 assists from Lionel Messi. 17 player of the matches. Kettering Town, where are you in the league? Let's take a look. Oh, gosh. Have they actually got relegated? Have they? At, they've got relic. Okay, I take it all back. They lasted, I guess, three years in a row in the division. You can see here, Messi got the highest average rating at a 7.79. They've had another change of manager. In fact, they've had a number of changes of manager. Oh, no, they haven't. That's a caretaker manager. But yes, they brought in Vladimir Petkovic. I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about this guy, but his managerial kind of attributes are very, very good. It looks like they're playing a similar shape to what they were doing previously. But yes, Messi got the most goals, most assists, and most player of the matches, but it just wasn't enough, bless him. Oh, that's heartbreaking. The last year as well, they finished 18th, so there were there were signs of improvement. How did Messi do in that season? How integral was he to a better finish? I mean, you'd have to say he's done more this year, probably, than the previous two seasons that they were in the championship, but it just wasn't enough. 18 goals, 9 assists, 17 player of the matches. The year before that, he got slightly more assists. This season, you can see he's played two games as a striker and 42 as a right midfielder. I guess playing as an inside forward and cutting in on his left foot. But alas, it has not been enough for little old Kett Kettering. They've moved into their new stadium. They've actually got a very, very good capacity in it as well. But their star man could not save them from the drop. And that is just a little bit sad, isn't it? We can have a look at uh, kind of milestones here. You can see some of the awards that he's won. He's been in the Team of the Week quite a lot, hasn't he, over the years? In competitions, 
promoted and then the big relegation. Are they just going to yo-yo now between the Championship and League One? That's going to be interesting. If Kettering are going down to the Championship, there's not an unlikely chance that Hungerford have been promoted. Let's take a look, shall we? And when I say promoted, I mean promoted into this division. And indeed, they are here. So for the first time ever next season, Ronaldo and Messi are going to play in the same division. We're going to have to directly compare them. I kind of figured that they would rise up the leagues together and we would have this situation happen a lot sooner. But the way that the universe has decided for things to play out means that they are going to meet for the first time about 10 years into this experiment. You can see Hungerford finished 12th, but Ronaldo has been doing his thing. Obviously, they were promoted last year, and last year he got 31 goals, 15 assists, and 26 player of the matches. When you contrast that to the year before where they lost in the playoffs, he got twice as many goals, almost twice as many player of the matches, and a significantly better average rating. Let's have a look at Hungerford here. So last year they actually won the league, so that is really, really impressive. Um, they finished on 87 points. They walked the league. They had the second most goals scored in the league. Their defensive record was also pretty solid, which is interesting. You can see, have they had a change in manager? They have. Ian Herring was poached, and then Liam Bridcut came in and was sacked after 222 days, which is kind of surprising. But this year, Ronaldo has played higher up the pitch. I wonder if he played higher up the pitch last year as well. You can see a 42 games played as an attacking left mid. He can have more of an impact on the game there. So I'm kind of happy to see that as a thing. That should hopefully see him scoring a few more. Probably explains why he was able to get 30 goals this year. He is still the captain. They have got their managerial job open. Let's hope that the manager who comes in wants to play him as a striker. Looking at it, they've upgraded their training facilities, Hungerford. They're investing in things. Um, you can see their stadium has been increased a couple of times. They did increase their facilities, although for some reason it's just not showing here. But yeah, Ian Herring left the role. Where, where did Liam go? He's unemployed. Please don't tell me he's done what the other guy did. Let's have a look at things here. He went to Nottingham Forest and he lasted four months. I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu. It, it's not ideal, is it? But yes, Ronaldo and Messi, they're going to be playing in the same league for the first ever time next year. And for that reason, I feel like we'll just go forward one last time to end today's episode and just go forward one year. This is quite tricky because I want to show you guys as much detail as possible. But equally, unlike the Mbappe video, there's two players and two teams to go through. So it's a bit of a challenge. Things have to go a little bit slowly. I'm keen not to miss anything, but I know that I probably will. Um, what I will probably do is in the final part of this series... Um, or maybe it's just a bonus thing. We'll go through it all in deep, deep detail and just see if I missed anything. Of course, if you spot anything I missed, please do let me know it down in the description or in the comments, rather, that you can't write in the description. That's going to be a problem. Anyway, let's go forward. League One season, it's going to be interesting. Messi versus Ronaldo, who's going to come out on top? So I figured the best place to start on this season specifically was on the League One page. And... Well, Ronaldo has edged out Messi. I'm very surprised. Why is Messi not in the goals or assists? I really hope he hasn't been injured. But let's have a look at Ronaldo's season first because he's appearing everywhere. 21 player of the matches, a 7.78 average rating. And uh, yeah, he played pretty much every single game. He actually played 47 games. Does that mean they made it to the playoffs? Maybe they did, but I didn't, I didn't see them in the playoff final. Minor spoilers. Let's have a look, shall we, at the league table. So yes, Hungerford and Kettering both in the playoffs. Oh my word, that is that's that's cool. Let's have a look. Did they meet? They didn't. I mean, that would have been good, wouldn't it, if they'd met in the playoff final? But no, Sunderland edged out Hungerford two one over two legs. Ronaldo playing as a striker, interestingly enough, in a four four two. Didn't get on the score sheet in that game. Meanwhile, Cardiff absolutely smashed Kev Kettering. You can see here, Messi was subbed off after. 41 minutes? I mean, that's interesting. Did he get an injury? It doesn't look like it. Was that was that a tactical thing? That feels like a very bold move by Kettering that probably hasn't played out. Anyway, Ronaldo had a very good year. What about you, Lionel? What happened? You played 43 games. You got 11 assists and 18 goals, which is a decent total in both of those areas. He still got 19 player of the matches, so he did very, very well. Unfortunately, he kind of did... A bit of a jack of all trades, master of non year, where he didn't get in the top three goal scorers or the top ten, uh, three assisters. You can see here, player of the matches, they're the two dogs at the top battling it out. You can see Messi here was actually joint third for top goal scorer. 
And uh, for assists, he was a little bit down the list. Joint 7th with 11. But still a crazily, crazily good season for both teams. Where were they predicted to finish? Hungerford were predicted ninth place, which is a little bit surprising in their first season up, but fair enough. Kettering were expected to win the league. I've just noticed here, Gary Monk is now their manager. So that's interesting. Hungerford, have you got the same manager? No, you've got John McGreal. Interesting. Bridcut was sacked halfway through the season? Oh no, he was sacked at the end of last season. Why was he sacked at the end of last season? Didn't they get... Pro I'm very confused. Why would you have sacked him at the end of 2027 when when the club... Oh, I guess that's where they finished 12th. That makes more sense. But even so, I'm surprised they sacked him. That feels harsh. But yes, Ronaldo playing as a striker, I think that explains why he was able to get 38 goals in all competitions. It's a tiny bit unfortunate they couldn't do a little bit more. I have noticed here in the FA Trophy... Hungerford did actually win it in 2023-24. So, Hungerford fans, you've had silverware as well. So, that's 1-1 one, one to Kettering and Hungerford. There is also the uh, the EFL trophy. Now, I have no idea if either team is going to have been successful in this. So let's have a look. Past winners. Hungerford came runner-up. And I'm not seeing Kettering anywhere. But Hungerford this year finished runner-up in the EFL trophy. So, I mean, that's unfortunate, isn't it? They lost... In the final on penalties to Salford. Ronaldo missed a penalty in the game. He did score the 85th minute goal to take it to extra time. They scored in their 118th minute in the final. You think they've won it? Nah. Jack Evans, one minute later, with one minute left on the clock, grabs Salford a goal to break Hungerford hearts. That is that that hurts. Let's have a look at how Hungerford and Kettering got on against each other. We should definitely look at this. So it looks like they met in December time. And, uh, well, we can't, unfortunately can't see details of this game. But you can see here, Messi nor Ronaldo actually scored in the game. as Kettering 1-3-2 away from home. And, uh, well, if we look down this list, on the last day of the season, they drew against one another. Uh, and it looks like Ronaldo did play in this game. He got a 7.5 rating. Can we look at this game? We can look at this one. You can see Kettering were played off the park. But Messi got man of the match with one assist to his name as he assisted Edwards, who's got the winner. Uh, meanwhile, for Ronaldo, I mean, Ronaldo and Messi were the two two of the best players on the pitch. But in the end, the spoils were shared, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? It, it was a hard-fought game, uh, but Kettering technically do have the better record in the head-to-head -head between the two teams after nine seasons. But, well, they're going to be slogging it out again next year in League One. You have to imagine they both can be battling for playoffs and, if not, automatic promotion spot, which is going to be kind of interesting next time out. Uh, you guys can let me know who do you think is going to kick on further from now. I asked you guys at the start of part one. We've got to the end of part two now. The, 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 the battlefield is laid out. They're kind of neck and neck once more. Hungerford have closed the gap, even if Kettering did spend a few years in the championship. Are you Team Kettering or Team Hungerford? Let me know down below. And anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up everything from me today. As I said, this is a bit of a juggling act, trying to keep a focus on both teams because I kind of feel like it's important that we do both adventures justice. Hopefully this format is working for you and you're getting enough detail from me without it feeling like it's taking a bit too long to explain it all. I feel like when you have two players and two teams, there's just a lot of stuff to talk about. And there's well, it, when it's been as interesting as it has been, there's just, yeah, plenty to cover, I guess. But anyway, that is all from me today. If you have enjoyed this video, as always, do drop a like on it. If you've got to the end of this video, you are one of 60% of people who watch my videos, potentially, who isn't subscribed. And if you're at the end, you've enjoyed yourself. Do drop a subscription. I'll see you guys again soon. It is me, Jack. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.